hello my darlings welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing fantastic my name is nisha and i love fragrances today it's such a beautiful day outside i'm like why should i be stuck inside so i came outside on my gazebo here and i'm just gonna record and just enjoy nature okay so if you hear some noises i'm sorry but it's outside today i wanted to come and give my thoughts on some new releases some new releases that are hyped and some are not so if you want to see my thoughts on these fragrances if they're full bottle worthy or not then please stay tuned so the first fragrance i have here i have a decant of green butterfly so this is a new release from byron perfumes you guys know that i love byron perfumes oh by the way i have a 10 percent discount code with byron now this one is green butterfly i didn't even know this one was released my friend sent this to me jessica sent it over to me and i'm like okay this is very powdery it's soft it's aldehydic it has some aldehydes in it so this has iris there's some chocolate some citruses and some orange blossom i can't say i get orange blossom i don't get it at all there's some suede musk jasmine vanilla there's sandalwood vetiver patchouli exotic woods and all that but to me it's a very soft powdery sweet but not too sweet scent I don't get the suede, so you don't have to worry about if you don't like like leather and stuff. It's a very soft, airy, pretty fragrance. It's not heavy at all. This one is really, really nice. It's quite different to Byron stuff. This one is more softer, airy. The name is perfect, as I just thinking back. Green butterfly. It's it's soft and airy like a butterfly you know butterfly is just graceful and beautiful this is what it is very powdery sweet you smell the aldehydes a little bit so yeah this one is really nice but if you're expecting beast mode like how byron like mula mula or the chronic and all that it's quite different very very different but this one is really nice i would say for the summer a very light airy inoffensive pretty scent but it's really really nice i'm not going to say run out and go get it but it is a pretty scent i would advise you to sample this first but it's really nice i wouldn't mind having this in my collection seriously but is it groundbreaking no this other one i got a sample of i'm going to get a full bottle of this soon probably in a month or so because the brand will be sending this to me and it's from un nuit nomad and it's their new release and this one is sugar leather i heard so so much amazing things about this fragrance and I just had to try it okay I had to try it so I got a, a decant and let me tell you so guys this is so freaking good <laughs> this you get this cinnamon right on the top sweet cinnamon there's caramel there's leather labdanum and amaranth Guys, it is so beautiful. This is sugar leather, but do not be scared of this leather. It is not an animalic leather. It's warm, it's spicy, it's woody, it's freaking delicious. Oh my God, guys, this one is so good. Definitely, definitely a full bottle worthy in my opinion. And I do have a discount code for this brand as well. Just check my description. Guys, this is so good. It's sweet and you know what this gives me a vibe of but it's not it's like kind of like um i get a sweetness like rosé all day that kind of sweetness i feel like this have honey in it as well but it doesn't list it also kind of reminds me of there's another fragrance i can't put my my finger on right now but guys it's sweet and that's cinnamony sweet it is gorgeous do I want a full bottle of this? Hell to the yes. This would be perfect for the spring summer weather in the afternoon. Like I would say this is a nice evening out, but this is more fall and winter. It is so delicious, guys. I think it's definitely full bottle worthy. So, so good. As I said, I have a discount code for this, so check it out. Oh my God, this one is good, good. Hmm. Moving on. So this other one, I got a sample of it. It's one of Amouage's new release. This is what I'll put a bottle up here. It's one of those beautiful, the bottle is absolutely stunning. So you know how I'm obsessed with guidance. So I got a sample of this and let me give you my thoughts. So this has ginger, Szechuan pepper, saffron, 
another pepper, olibdanum, frankincense, myrrh, olibdanum, myrrh, that, like a whole bunch of notes, but benzoin, patchouli, and all that. This one is a hell to the note. <laughs> I don't like this at all. It's very woody. They said this has vetiver and all that. I get a wood kind of like cedar in this city, like a slight cedar, but it doesn't say it has the ginger. Guys, it's very incensey and all that, but the way this is blended, mm -mm, this ain't for me. Hell no. This is not one of my favorites. I'm sorry if you like this, but this did not play good on me. Longevity and everything was great, but mm -mm, hell no. This ain't for me. So this one will be a no. Okay? No. Other one, I was so excited to, to try this. I bought these. Most of these I bought from um, like decans from people or my friends send them over. This one is the newest release. I think it's the newest release. I'm not sure. From Stefan Hambert Lucas. And this is Pink Boa. The bottle is freaking gorgeous. If it's nothing, I want that bottle in my collection because it's beautiful. A bright pink. It's stunning. So let me give you my thoughts on this. I only got this sample yesterday. Mm. This is really pretty. It's very fruity. It's fun. It's playful. It's not as strong as I thought it would be. Probably some on my skin would be different. Let me put this on my skin. This opens up with black currant, there's bergamot, and there's some rosemary. In the mid, we have raspberry. We have some vodka, basil. And in the base, we have musk and sandalwood. Oh, it plays so different on my hands. I definitely pick up the rosemary and basil. On my, I wasn't picking up. On the test strip, I'm not picking up those notes. Wow. You get the blackberry. Like, I'm smelling every note on my skin wow the basil and the rosemary i'm picking up for sure the black currant and then the raspberry comes up i don't really smell no woods no sandalwood i could see get a little bit of musk wow it plays so different on my skin on the paper doesn't do this justice do not test this one on paper you're not going to like it because i could hardly smell anything on it wow this is really nice even though it has those fruity nuances it's fruity it's fresh but that basil and rosemary gives it a different brightness. It's like a, a very clean brightness from that basil especially. Almost like mint. I know basil don't smell like mint. But you know what I'm saying. That freshness that comes out. So it's perfect for a very hot day. This smells really refreshing and fruity and bright. And wow. This is really nice. Yo, I would have judged this because I sprayed it on paper. But this is nice. Wow. Wow okay so i need to find a bottle of this <laughs> as i said guys it's perfect for this summer weather and it's really refreshing it's fruity it's refreshing it's like almost like tooth quenching kind of vibe really really okay okay i would have judged you wrong so yes this one definitely full bottle worthy so this other one i got a sample of it from jessica and it's stallion leather this is the newest release from carolina herrera the bottle is gorgeous it's like a yellowish kind of bottle you know that's my kind of thing so this has leather ginger jasmine osmanthus olibdanum labdanum and patchouli so when i heard about this i thought hell yes i'm gonna love this because i love carolina herrera fragrances okay this one when you now spray it it smells really nice it smells almost like in the opening like black saffron you know that kind of vibe so the leather is there. You definitely get the leather and the ginger. Then it starts dying down. Guys, when this hits the dry down, it becomes very animalic, very leathery to the point where I couldn't deal. It's, it's not for me. It's too leathery. It's too skanky for me. It turns like an old leather bag, like those unfinished leather. Like it's not smooth. It's like rough. I can't explain it. It's very animalic. It's very rugged to the dry down. The opening is beautiful. I wish it would stay like this to the end. The opening is absolutely beautiful. So if you spray this, the opening, you'll be like, oh yeah, definitely. I love it. But girlies, wait till the dry down. It's really animalic and leathery. Those who, of you who love leather, you're definitely going to love this. I like a little bit of leather, but this one was a little too much for me. So I will say this is a pass for me. 
this other one I got a sample of. I think this is the newest release from Tamin. Oh, Tamin. Oh, I don't know if there's one come after this, but this one is Patalia. I heard so much good things about Patalia, so I had to try it. So I was happy that I got a sample. So this has notes of, um, let me see, geranium, orange. It has aldehydes. It has um, orange again, balsam. It has rose, patchouli, moss, amber, musk. Okay, but Fragantica has some other stuff here. What does Fragantica have? Oh, they have aldehyde citruses. Okay, I guess they just rounded it off. So I want to spray this one on skin. I'm so happy that I got to try this. Guys, this is so beautiful. Right away, you get the citruses and the rose. The rose is so, so beautiful. And there's orange blossom in this as well. And the aldehydes. And it's musky. A little bit ambery, guys. This is so feminine. It's so beautiful. It's so floral. It's fresh. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely stunning. And yes, 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 I want a full bottle of this. Oh my God, it's so pretty, guys. It's so, so pretty. But there's rose, but I feel there's some more florals to this. It's just so airy and fresh and feminine. It's just a beautiful, feminine, elegant fragrance. Oh my God, it smells amazing. The rose is very prominent though. They said there's orange blossom. I don't get orange blossom. I just get florals like the, the rose. And I feel, I don't know if there's puny in this, but there's something together with this rose. It's not only rose. Did they say any other thing in this? Patchouli. Guys, but it's beautiful. If you love Peregrina, you would definitely love this one. So this one is yes, yes, and yes. Oh gosh, I want a full bottle, but these things are expensive. Yes, so this is Patalia. Absolutely a love. So I purchased a sample from Pearlescent. This is a Tonkers, or the blue one, the blueberry one. And this has notes of champagne, blueberry, blue, black, um, black currant, rose water, iris, neroli, jasmine, sandalwood, <gasps> patchouli. Um, listen, a whole lot of stuff, okay? Lots of stuff. I purchased the other one, the honeydew one, and I bought a sample of this. But I'm kind of wishing that I bought this one instead. This smells so good. Oh my goodness. You get that blueberry for sure. There's a fizziness to it, so I guess it's the champagne. And there's something, there's a, a note in here that's very familiar. Wow, there's a freshness. I guess it's from that neroli. The way this is blended, guys, wow, it is so good. But to me, even though you get that thick sweetness of the blueberry, there's a freshness that comes with this that doesn't make it too dense and thick and heavy. I don't know if it's the neroli or the, uh, together with the, the um, rose water and all that. This is really, really nice. I definitely want a full bottle of this. And I'm kind of mad I bought this one first because I kind of like this one better than the other one. Spoiler alert. But oh my goodness, yes. I didn't buy this because I'm thinking it would have been too close to my um, EBK Deep and Desire Yacht. But it's so different, guys. It's so, so different. Yes, they both have blueberry, but this is different, different, different. I really enjoy this. There's a sweetness, but an airiness and a freshness that goes with this as well. Totally beautiful. It's kind of a little bit soapyish as well. I can't... Uh, what is that? I don't know, man. But it's really, really pretty. I don't know about longevity and all this. As I said, I bought... It came yesterday and I saw it and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put this... I'm going to try this out. Really nice. And I really want a full bottle of this. Who knows? I might go order this bottle soon. What do I have next? Oh, this is a new one from Dolce & Gabbana. And this one... What is it called, boy? It's called, um, it's just a Q. It's just a Q. So let's see the notes of this. And um, yeah, it says lemon, cherry, cedar wood. That's what it has on this. So let's see. I'm going to spray this one on some skin. <laughs> or should I do paper? Let me do paper first. Next thing you know, this thing stink. I haven't tried it, so I don't know. See, I didn't even spray this thing yet. Hmm. 
I ain't got no cherry yet. <laughs> Did it say cherry here? Yeah? It says cherry. I get the lemon. And see the You know, this has a freshness of Dolce & Gabbana light blue. It has that DNA in it. I get no cherry at all. Probably the dried on you'll get a slight cedar wood. But very citrusy. It smells... This should have been a flank of Dolce, uh, light blue. Because this smells like light blue in my opinion. It has smelled like light blue with some other nuances to it. So this is very similar to that. Which is strange. This shouldn't be. Wow. Very citrusy. No cherry at all. So don't even worry about that note. Because I ain't getting no cherry. You know what? Let me spray this on my skin and stop playing the fool next to you. No cherry comes out on my skin. Let me see. Nope. No cherry. No cherry. No cherry. This one is lost cherry. <laughs> nope. No cherry at all. I just get citruses and that's it. And it's very similar in my opinion to Dolce & Gabbana light blue. Actually, wait. Hold on. I feel like it's drying down. I get a tinge of cherry if i didn't read that there was cherry in this i would have passed it straight by but because i know it's there i get a slight nuance of it but barely there but it's more citrusy and limey it smells very similar to dochi angamana light blue it's very it's like it's cousin really really nice and refreshing i wouldn't mind this this is nice but this should have been a flank of light blue in my opinion what do I have next? What do I have next? Oh, I have one more. You know, should I do it? It's not really a new release, but it's a hyped fragrance. And this is Blue Heart from Tamin. This is the top notes. We have saffron. You know, I love me some saffron. We have coconut. We have orris, tonka bean, vanilla. We have cypress oil. We have amber and musk. Yo, coconut. Did you say saffron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. That saffron hits you right away. I love saffron. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Right now, I, all I get is saffron. With a little bit of that coconut. Oh, my goodness. This is good. It's a little bit powdery. You get a little bit of vanilla, but like most fragrances have vanilla in it. It's a little bit ambery. It's musky. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. Oh yes. This is my kind of thing. This feels like if it's a heavy hitter. I wonder. But that saffron plays beautifully. Oh my god. Yes, yes, and yes. Full bottle worthy. Yes. So that's two to mean that I want so far. Oh my god. This is gorgeous it reminds me of something and i can't pinpoint what it is it's very familiar though wow i really enjoy this mm -mm -mm. so yes yes and yes full bottle worthy this other one is the brand new release from simone andrioli and this is vice bomb guys this is sweet there's some cherry there's some goodness so yeah of course i wanted to test it out right and guess what spoiler alert i just purchased the whole bottle <laughs> i couldn't wait i couldn't wait so this is new release and yes it's full bottle worthy guys this is sweet it's cherry it's vanilla it's ambery oh my god oh my god oh my god oh this is so freaking delicious mm, this is like a fluffy cherry I was kind of scared when I buy and bought this because I heard people talk about it and they weren't too happy about it. They said it smelled medicinal and I don't get that at all. I get that sweet cherry, those fruits. I get the caramel, the vanilla. It's sweet. You get some florals. You get the tonka bean. Everything they say, I smell it. This is so beautiful. It has this fluffiness about it. This does not smell like lost cherry. No, it does not. It has that Simone Andrioli DNA. If you smelt that house, you know what it smells like. You would pick up the DNA in this fragrance. I am so happy with my purchase. I 
was worried but when I tell you I love it and to me it is blind buy worthy it's so beautiful and longevity was okay it's not a beast it's not gonna last forever I got a good five six hours with this and I could smell myself now I don't know if people were smelling me I didn't really get compliments on this so I can't say but I could have smelled myself and when I smell myself I know people around me could smell myself too because I go and not make real quick guys this is beautiful it's cherry but a fluffy airy cherry it's sweet it's yummy and it's delicious I feel like this has coconut in this or something this cherry smells tropical that's what it is it smells a little bit tropical so this is perfect for summer it is perfect for summer I can't say I'll wear this in winter I don't know how it'll work I don't know if it could withstand the cold but as for now it's an airy sweet fluffy cherry which I absolutely adore so vice bomb yes 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 okay full bottle worthy so guys these are some fragrances that i was testing out to let you know my opinions and if some of them were new releases some of them were not so new and yeah if you like these kind of videos please let me know because i'm always buying samples i have some more samples coming in this week as well and let me know your thoughts let me know if you enjoy these uh, videos i'm so happy when i could sample stuff because guys li listen really i'm the blind buy queen because i don't get fragrances here to buy because i can't sample them so i blind buy a lot of times they're really good they're successful but a lot of times they fail and i'm so pissed because these fragrances are not cheap so when i get a chance to sample i will sample so guys i hope you like this i hope you enjoyed my little outdoors and until next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're not yet subscribed and you look at my videos hook me up man give me some numbers share my video and all that check me out on instagram and tiktok where we have lots of fun as well and until next video be safe be kind and smell fabulous. Bye now.